Hello everyone, I am Tanveer and you are watching YouTube channel Project Professional. This video is on EPC detailed engineering schedule in oil and gas projects. To start with, we have the definitions. The detailed engineering design is the phase where the project is completely defined and developed in order to proceed with procurement, construction, and commissioning. In an EPC contracting strategy, it is the single contractor who performs the detail engineering design, procurement, and construction. That means that the scope of the contractor under the contract is all the three phases, the detail engineering design, procurement, and construction. Predecessor of detail engineering design is basic design, which is also very commonly called front end engineering and design that is FEED, F-E-E-D, FEED. Under the detail engineering design, as they are talking of the schedule, the schedule organize, is, are organized discipline wise. There are some uh, other part also in the second level. These are all what we are, we are describing is the second level. So we have like the milestones, et cetera, some general, but general things. But generally uh, the, the schedule have the, it is subdivided by discipline, like process, mechanical, HVAC, piping, electrical, instrumentation and control, telecommunication, civil, structural, architectural, commissioning and operations, HSC, that is health, safety and environment. But it's not necessary that it should follow the way it is described here. It may vary slightly, it depends on the organization, it depends on the project, it depends on the one who's preparing the schedule or who's reviewing the schedule, it, it depends. But this is a generic example of what I have given. Now we have the pictorial example of work breakdown structure, WBS, the detail engineering at the top, the, uh, the first level are the discipline as we see, the process engineering, piping design, mechanical and HVAC design, electrical and instrumentation, CS and A, that is civil, structural and architectural, then H, S and E, that is health, safety and environment. Then we have commissioning and operations. And then the next level, it goes to the deliverables, like in the process with CP and ID, process data sheet, while in piping, it's a piping layout, isometrics, and then as we go to mechanical and HVAC, it is fixed to tank general arrangement, mechanical data sheet, then electrical and instrument, we see single line diagram, cable schedule, CSNA, we see structural steam general arrangement, foundation drawings, HS and EVC, HAZOP and HAZIT, then commissioning and operation, we see commissioning procedure and operating manual. These are just examples, there are many, many there. This is just for the sake of example. When we go the, the sequence, the sequence, as we see in the EPC, it is in the sequence, but there are considerable overlap here in the detail engineering within the discipline, though it starts with process, but within the discipline and it moves with other discipline. But there are considerable overlaps within the disciplines. So it, it starts with process and process comprises many deliverables like PNID, process data sheets, et cetera, et cetera. While at the late, it comes like piping, piping deliverables like asymmetric, which comes quite later. A generic path of the deliverable approval cycle is as follows, the preparation and internal review by the contractor the deliverables are prepared and then reviewed by the contractor. Then there was the prepare, review it, the issue for, for client review, the client review, they provide the comment. 
return back to the contractor. The contractor, when they receive the client comment, they incorporate the comments as appropriate and then we should to the client for approval and the client client approval the schedule. Now we see the pictorial example of the schedule. It's like any other schedule. The left side are the columns, right side is the Gantt and the timeline within the timeline which is in the months as we say M1, M2, M3. And the columns are like, the column part comprises of the columns like activity ID, activity description, organization, early start, early finish, total flow. Then the detail engineering is the top level. Okay. And within the overall EPC, the detail engineering becomes the level one. And within the detail engineering, the, it is milestone, the discipline like process typing, mechanical, electrical, instrumentation, civil structural, commissioning operation. Within the discipline, there are the deliverables, like in process, the PNID, program effect, uh, in piping, plot plan, isometric, mechanical, it is uh, fixed storage tank, mechanical data sheet, electrical instrumentation, it's electrical de deliverables, instrumentation deliverable, and civil structure, it may be the foundation details, the steel structure layout, commissioning and operation, it may be the commissioning procedure, the operating manual. Within that are the activity like uh, for PNID issued for has of, these are our examples. Cause and effect issued for approval, issue for approval, the plot plan issue for approval, then uh, like uh, foundation issued for construction. And we see the milestones, the, the milestone, the next level is not that, it, the next level is the activity itself. And on the right side, we see the duration of those activities here and the milestones also we see. So this is a pictorial example of the schedule. Deliverable and deliverables under the schedule. There are many, many, many de de deliverables, which we cannot all state there, but few examples I'm giving. PNID, Papping and Instrumentation Diagram, cost, uh, Cause and Effect Diagram, Data Sheet, Data Sheet may be the process data sheet, mechanical data sheet, okay. GAD, General Agreement Drawing. So it may be Papping, GAD Drawing, tank, GAD drawing, storage tank, GAD, piping isometrics, plans, procedures, procedures, like commissioning procedure, pre-commissioning procedure, so many procedures, reports, equipment layout, sizing calculation, material requisition, etc. De deliverable generally follows the following sequence and we have already described it in the previous Slide, so we'll not describe it here. Deliverance may be issued for the following purpose or the objective. Every deliverable have an objective. So it may be the issued for design, IFD, issued for HAZOP, IFH, issued for information, IFI, issued for construction, IFC, etc. Then we see that uh, like other schedule, this engineering detail engineering design schedule also have the resource loading calendar and weightage for the obvious reasons the resources for detail engineering are mainly design engineers and craftsmen there are other resources but these are the main main resources of the detail engineering and these resources are further divided into disciplines like design engineers process engineers Mechanical design engineers, piping design engineers, electrical design engineer, instrumentation design engineer, civil design engineer, structural design engineer, etc. And this detail engineering is man hour based. That each deliverable requires a certain man hours to be produced. So 
an engineer or draftsman are assigned with certain deliverables and and based on those manoeuvre of the deliverables each draftsman or design engineer has certain manoeuvres to carry out their task so they have each deliverables have the manoeuvres required to complete that deliverable and each design engineer and craftsman have number of deliverables assigned to them so that brings a total number of man hours for those engineers discipline engineer, draftsmen etc and the detail engineering is basically office based it generally uses five days work week and generally eight hours a day office base is hour a day this is the basic yeah. unlike the construction activity which is site based and it has more working hours in a week maybe 48 hours six days they work like that but this this detail engineering design they generally use five days work and each day comprising eight hours and also the weightage for detailed engineering is very less right? i mean very less as compared to procurement and construction procurement and construction has much more weightage detail engineering has very less weightage as compared to the procurement and construction Then we come to the duration and major milestone. Major part of the major part of the detailed engineering is generally spread between 10 to 15 months. But this is not to be taken as that exactly it lies between this duration. No, it may vary, but generally. And also it depends upon the scope and complexity of the project. So this what it is given 10 to 15 generally it it is so the major part of the detail it completes within this period then we as in this any other schedule here in the detail engineering also have the milestones there are many milestones but here for just for an example given like the has of completion model review 30 60 90 etc so these are the milestones. Then like other schedule, the detail engineering schedule itself has its own S-curves and histograms. It has its own S-curves and histograms. It has both of them generated from the baseline and updated from the actual. And this both S curve and histogram form the part of the overall EPC schedule. So the, the generated from the baseline, it is to just to evaluate the progress and actually is populated or fed into as the project progress and as the schedule is updated. Here is the pictorial example of S-curve and the histogram. Left side we see the S-curve and it has a, on the x-axis the timeline in months as we see. On the y-axis it is the percentage progress and specifically the cumulative percentage progress. And we see the blue line, which is generated from the baseline and the blue line that is blue curve. And then we see that orange curve, which is from the actual as we progress. And as we see, the orange is below the blue curve, that means detail engineering is behind the schedule that we can see. 
it also we have to see that okay one thing is to be noted that okay this blue line may be the base of the early dates and there may be a late date s curve which is not shown and which may be below the orange curve so that means it is within the schedule but generally we, we say okay it's behind the schedule it is below the planned curve similarly on the right hand side we have the man hour histogram a uh, manpower or man hour histogram on the x axis is the timeline in months as we see on the y axis the numbers or we say man hours and the blue one is generated from the baseline that is the plan and the orange one from the actual man hours that is spent as we see the orange one is less than blue one and we may say that okay the actual man hours are less actual man hour deployments are less so that may be the reason for the detail engineering behind the scaling so now we finished our this presentation hope you would have liked it we have many videos on our channel and we continue to post more videos on the project program portfolio on the youtube channel project professional please watch it share it comment and subscribe to the youtube channel project professional thank you once again